Miles and miles of gigantic potholes clustered along the Millennium Highway have accumulated year after year, forcing motorists to resort to different routes to get to town. And for those who have no other choice, paying thousands of dollars in vehicle repairs. This road leads to a populated residential area with countless apartment complexes and one of the main gas stations in the constituency. Residents in the community are saying that the roads have gotten worse and despite patching it time after time, after days of hard-hitting rain, the humongous holes are back again. One resident off-camera told News 4 that, quote, I am embarrassed to tell people that I live in Blue Hills because they have to pass this horrible road and I have already paid $5,000 in vehicle repairs since I bought my truck. How can the government feel good about this road after they promised during the last general elections to have this problem fixed? End quote. The reconstruction of the highway, also known as the Blue Hills Back Road, has been at the top of the block in the PNP government's plan since they resumed office in 2007. The Millennium Highway was first constructed by the People's Democratic Movement in 1998 and the Blue Hills Front Road in 2007 by the Progressive National Party. Since then, plans were being voiced to reconstruct the entire back road division by the ruling party, but that has yet to come. In a press statement sent to News 4, MP responsible for the constituency and Minister of Natural Resources, Honorable Greg Lightborn, described the road as progressively deteriorating and said that factors such as hurricane relief have absorbed the funds allocated for the reconstruction of the road. Lightborn went on to say, quote, I am disappointed that we have not been able to put the proper mechanisms in place to repave the Millennium Highway. However, I have been working very closely with the Minister of Works, Honorable Samuel Bean, and I want to assure the residents of Blue Hills, particularly those that live along the Millennium Highway, that having that highway repaved remains a top priority, and we are currently doing everything possible to provide some relief to the pothole-filled road. Until we are able to properly repave the highway, we are filling the worst of the potholes with asphalt in the meantime. End quote. Minister of Public Works Honorable Samuel Bean, along with a team from his ministry, have addressed the issue by covering up the erosions with tar. So far, half of the stretch of the road have already been repaired by the department, and those repairs are still ongoing. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikira John.